Welcome to another episode of Three Black Guys with a Mic. We want you to be a part of the show. All you got to do is go to facebook.com slash three black guys with a mic and let us know your opinion on this episode, past episodes, and future episodes. Leave a comment on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash three black guys with a mic and we'll read your comments on the show. Whoever you agree with or whoever you disagree with, it's no holes barred. So let us know your opinion and leave a comment on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash three black guys with a mic. First of all, let me tell you something. Lamont is just full of shit. Sometimes my mama said, you know, you don't have nothing nice to say. You should be quiet. You say that Stephen A is a coon. You agree with that? Everybody got quiet on that one, okay? Are you drinking, man? I don't know. Are you drinking? (laughs) I don't even understand how you could even put common and and Bob Marley and and Marvin Gaye. And even Marvin Gaye. I'm saying, who's on your iPhone, iPad? Who's in your playlist right now? Did I say this? Man, and I know you a little bit on the right. And Lamont, I know you got that country club lifestyle. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Three Black Guys with a Mic. This episode of Three Black Guys with a Mic is being brought to you by Wendy's. Wendy's has changed the value game all over again. Today, grab yourself a four for four. A juicy junior bacon cheeseburger or crispy chicken BLT large fry four-piece nugget and a drink. You can always get it fresh, never frozen at a participating Wendy's. Offer not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. Now let's start the show. What is up? Um, I'm happy to be back in the States, my niggas. I have not seen TV. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. I didn't my know ni- we were in my, this my show. I did, I, are we no, in this just show? Saying, like, come on, man. We got to be authentic with this thing. Did you not hear us with my niggas? Is that where we at? I didn't, are we in the show? I mean, I, I thought we I thought we had some leverage when we show. weren't in the show. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. So, so so you're saying when we're amongst us as my niggas, but when we're <laughs> when we're live and in living color, it's we're going to save all the children, right? And no well, N-word. I, mean, I, we, I can go no N-word all time. I can do that. No, my nigga, I'm well, good. Well, just start right now. I mean, you just... You know. <laughs> All right, well, then, look, hold on. Let me... Hold on, then. Let me go over my my catalog and delete this new J album. Oh, uh, no, no, no. See, here's the deal. And, and and I'm not as high as I was two days ago. Now I'm just... I'm I'm in... I'm in the mode of just taking it all in. But when he's saying, using the nigga word, he's using it as a euphemism. You know what I'm saying? It's not technically my nigga... What he's trying to say is something you totally said, different. Yeah, you you t- you tap dancing like a some. No, what you talking about? You <laughs> look like you in the cartoon from the uh, the OJ story. Like you just going just tap dance all the way around. What you saying? That's what he did, bro. Like it, I mean, for real, that's exactly what he did. It wasn't like you know okay. the nigga uh, from I'm, Reasonable I'm, Doubt. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh-uh. uh, I ain't. Never mind. You right? No, well, I'm, I'm saying, was you it the right? nigga from Reasonable Doubt? You right, Lamont. I'm asking, is it yes or no? There was some niggas on the, there was some there's some niggas on the album, not just on on the OJ joint. I mean, there's some niggas all over that album. I mean, you know, and I ain't saying that it, it ain't right. I mean, like as I just said a minute ago, I used the word. So right, it's cool, my nigga. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, my nigga. Don't worry about it. Welcome to Three Black Guys with the Mic, Jay Z. 444. Thank you, Jay Z. First of all, let me just say thank you because, uh, in my opinion, this is what you know hip hop needed. Uh, as we talked last week, you know, about the poison and the mumble rap and you know, the all of the other artists that are out there. I mean, to me, that just you know, th- this album made me go listen to Ice Cube's album, Kendrick Lamar's album. Uh, who else dropped? Um, go back to listen to the Tribe album. It just gave me, you know, the hip hop feel. Took me away from all of the Molly Percocet. So I don't know who to start with. I guess Lamont, let me start with you. You know, what were your thoughts on the album? I don't know. I, I feel like I need to give. Oh Maynard, my gosh! I need to. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to give Maynard the ball, man. I mean, I feel like this is so. This is this is this, that uh, filibuster. No, nah, so no, this this is all this almost I felt like he might be taking us back to the eighties, nineties. No, it's the eighties, eighties, a little bit with live with that energy. So I, and I know that's Maynard's era. You know what I'm saying? Like 85, 87, a little bit. So why don't we give Maynard the ball? What's what you got, Maynard? Yo, my era is hip hop. 82. <laughs> 
through through twenty o two. That's my air. My air is so. But but let me let me say this. The reason why I've been so down on certain rappers out here, and and certain music, or like for you to talk for a Spud to be like, "Yo, Cardi B is hot." Like when you. Like if you've been eating McDonald's every day all the time, and you be like, "Oh, that's cool," and the McDonald's comes out with a burger, they put some bacon on it. Oh, that's really great, and they put some lettuce and tomato on one burger. Oh, that's great, that's nice. But when you go home that one time, and your mom makes the hamburger with her hands and puts the onions in it, and the and a little bit of lorries, and it's a nice fat. You are like, no, that's what that's supposed. That this is what it's supposed to taste like you realize what good music really is and that everything else you've been getting sucks. This album is so, first of all, I'll say this. The first time I listened to it, I was like, okay, it's 10 tracks or whatever. There's there's a strong seven. Then I went back and I listened to the three tracks I wasn't feeling. I was like, oh no, I was sleeping. Right. And that was all in one weekend. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, that's dope. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't hearing it the right way at first. Right. Because when I oh, first heard it, I was like, when I heard Bam, I was like, eh, okay. Oh, then when I heard Moonlight, I was like, eh. But then when I went back to listen to both of them, I was like, no. Okay. Right, right, right. Oh. This is I a got complete, it now. This is a complete work. This is a complete work in that you take these songs together or individually, and they are killer. What he's saying and how he's talking, there, there was a time I forget who he was fighting, but um, Floyd Mayweather was fighting this guy, right? And Roy Jones and the Larry Merchant or whoever they were, um, they were commentating. And Floyd was hearing them commentate. He would fire off two shots, and then he would make a comment to them on the side. I feel like that's how Jay was. He's doing this in the album, like. They can never go Eric Benet. It's not even rapping. He's just he's just conversating with you. You know how the Jews did it? You know what the difference is between, you know, uh, what's he say? Um, throwing money in a strip club. Throwing money in a strip club and getting rich. Credit. It's, it's not, he's not even rhyming. He's just talking to you and giving it to you straight in so many, in so many instances. And some of this just happens to be rhyming. And yo, it's um, it's classic. And when you hear that, once you get that, isn't it hard going back to an album or to or music that sucks? Isn't it hard saying, okay, I got this, and you open my third eye? Well, the minority said he's over. He's done with it. You know, listening to the album already. He's not no, no, no. Anymore. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> in, in the beginning, whoa. didn't he say he was like, ah, you know, I kind of, yeah, I'm kind of, you know. I listen no, to it. I'm done with it. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I, I retract that statement. That is not what I said, sir. No, sir. Yeah. But go ahead, Maynard. Let, 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 let me finish. Cause I, I got I got some notes I need to get through. You know what I mean? When you hear what he's talking about, the content, when you hear first of all, you know, shout out to No ID and, and and um the beat the beats are nuts. The samples are nuts. And I'm gonna go here. My daughter's name is Marley Simone. And um, Marley, Simone, Isabella Scales. So Marley is from Bob Marley. That's why we I named her after Bob. Simone is after Nina. Um, and Isabella is after um, Charles Mingus's table dance. Isabella's table dance. Um, he uses the Nina Simone for women on the OJ joint, which is my favorite Nina Simone track. So I was, I was immediately in love. And how he breaks that down the inspiration that Nina Simone provides in this track, yo, it's it's what's needed, and it's what's needed in our community right now. Let me ask it's you really this question. Let me ask you this question, though, Maynard. Nina Simone, when she started to focus her career on the movement, right, and speaking, you know, more on the black population, she lost a lot of people. She lost the mainstream. I should say it that way. Do you think that this will happen with Jay? Well, let well let's let's say no. I don't no. I don't think this will happen with Jay. First of all, a, a lot of people are going to come to it on beats alone and not ever hear the words. Okay. So that's going to be a I lot. I would of hope that not. I would hope that everyone would hear the words. In my opinion, I agree with you. You could take the beats are killer, but you can take 
the whole album a cappella and still get food for thought. True. You can get the food for thought. But then also let's let's back up. Now Nina was never Nina never no, that's not true. Nina's commercial existence was this was her, was the tail end of her career. She was a rebel and a radical. She was the first hip hop artist, if you really want to be you really want to keep it gangster. She was a rebel almost out the gate. She obviously did a lot of the classical stuff that got her booked in, in, in places, but she always spoke out. And for women, which is the sample that he's using, if you don't know the words to that song and you don't know what that song's about, you you that's food for thought. For that, that will make your soul complete. And you can listen to that song and say, all right, I'm either ready to go out and rebel or I'm ready to go out and build or do something because that will motivate you if you know what's really going on. Yeah, but the commercial people, you know, when Mississippi Goddamn came out. Oh, yeah, commercial sure. Commercial people she, was like, mm. but, but, I mean, her, her history, her legacy of why she had to go commercial on the back end when Feeling Good came out, when um, um, I Shall Be Released, all, the, all those kinds of things were coming out. Was <laughs> unfortunately, because her manager, ex-husband, right. had, taken, had taken all of her money. And so then she had to make a return to going commercial. But she was, when she did Mississippi Goddamn, she was unapologetic. She was like, this is right. what's up. And she right. gave it that little hunky-dory beat. So that Which she where could, Jay is. Jay is unapologetic about what he's saying. And I don't think that, you know, he's talking more towards the revolution. I think he's more talking to our people in regards to knowledge than the backlash of oppression. It's Lamont's turn. Let me ask you this question real quick. And Lamont, now you can answer this. In my opinion, there's only one Jay-Z classic. Stop. Stop. There's only Stop. one Jay-Z classic. Come on, dude. Well, I just had this argument with somebody else. I and dare before you to you name another it, one. Name, there's, five, name. there's five bona fide Jay-Z joints at this point. Oh, no. no, I'm no sorry, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Cl what? Albums? There's only yes. one Jay-Z classic album. Man, no. I'm, about to, I'm about to disconnect from the podcast. I'm sorry. I got to no, go. Reasonable what doubt. Reasonable, reasonable doubt, doubt, doubt is, is the only, is the doubt, only Jay-Z Jay classic. Blueprint. Black Blueprint. Album, American Hustle. American Hustle it might be up there. I don't necessarily know if that's a classic this. album. I don't know if people are going to be. I don't know if people are going back. I go back. I'm sure you guys go back to Reasonable Doubt. You might go back to Dynasty. I don't know if you're going back to American Gangster. I don't know if you're going back to The Blueprint. Blueprint's dope. Duper is dope, and I don't know if it's a classic. Classic. I don't think so. Reasonable doubt is the classic, for sure. Lamont, no question about it. Lamont, Lamont, get your man. I'm good, man. I'm, 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 well, first, this since you wanted to- This is another wanted, classic by Jay-Z. Right, that's what I said. Since you want to come with these reasonable doubt shenanigans, <laughs> you know. Reasonable like doubt is the classic? I had to, I had to, I had to yeah, and I'm, if, if I have to go and with all of the, the bodies of work or body of work that this man has put out, and yes, I'm biased because I am an adult. I am a married adult. I don't have any kids, but I got a whole bunch of people that I the damn near should be my kids. And everything that this man talked about in this album here, not only is it you know emotional, not only is it therapeutic, not only is it good, uh, uh, like a real blueprint, not like what the blueprint was that he called the blueprint before, but this is a blueprint for black men for now and for years to come on what we should follow if we no listen. Question. No question. So to me, on some whole <laughs> other meaningful shit, I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going with, you know, dead presidents. I'm not going with politics as usual or can't knock the hustle. I'm sorry. I'm not going with that. I'm going with, you know, a, a young man that's going to listen to this that one day is going to ask Maynard's daughter out for a date. And come sit in front of Maynard and say, you know, I want to marry your daughter. Whoa, because I, whoa, I whoa. To what... so slow down. I am not prepared <laughs> for none of this. But 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 that's that's how and to me, that's how deep it is. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, you know, uh, you know, some other young person, like if Deshaun really listens to this, right? And he really takes some of this stuff to heart, 
it's going to make him a better human being. Reasonable doubt ain't going to do that. I'm sorry. This is not. No, I think I, reasonable doubt is still reasonable doubt is for sure bona fide a classic. No, so the I'm, black I'm, album, the black album is not a classic. Is, the black album is nuts. Are you kidding me? Lucifer, no, it's not a moment of clarity, it's not encore, a classic. my it's not a first classic. Song. It's a dope album. It's not a classic. Ninety nine problems. It's not a classic. So so Maynard, turn off your again. shoulder. So Maynard, Maynard, so Maynard, and I, 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 I'm I'm only gonna stick to you because I know you got a beautiful daughter at home. In 10 years, when some dude is coming to your house to pick up your baby, what do you want him bumping in his speakers? Kirk Franklin. <laughs> I don't know. That's subjective, too. That might be a little yeah. subjective, too. Yeah, why are you playing? I want to hear some. I want to hear that old Shirley Caesar. I want to hear. <laughs> what's that song? What's the... Now, Maynard, let me ask you this, though, Maynard. <laughs> On the very first podcast, you said that Common. Sure. The very first podcast, you said Common's mm -hmm. album was equivalent up there with Bob Marley and Marvin Gaye. You sure his did. Writing, and that's in, it's in the promo. Yes, it is. Yes. His writing is up there. His writing is... His, is his, this album up there? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So we can take out Common and put in Jay? That's right. <laughs> we'll go for my next question. In the, in, the, in the promo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maynard, in the promo. Can we take out can we take yeah. out common? Yeah, let me let me give you let me give you a statement. This Jay-Z album is nuts. Go ahead and, and edit that in. And, and you know what? And let, we, we're not gonna we're not gonna minimize common because shout to common, you know. I, I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I remember the, the common sense. Actually, I had a a, a, a my roommate actually now, uh, let me take that back. Yeah, he was my roommate. Actually in college was you know, originally from Chicago, well, from Chicago. And I remember back when, when Common, and this was like 88, 87, you know what I mean? When he really was Common Sense. And I work with Common at, at, at MCA Records. I mean, he's a good dude, but I just think some people are, you know, on, on a different tra trajectory and, you know, Common ain't it. So when you said that, Maynard, I was like, no, but I'll let you run with that. But, but I'm going to keep saying. Go back go and listen to the words on that, on this album that he gave you. In fact, I would say this. It's in the exact same space as this 444 album. No. Yes, it is. The no. Black the Black America Again album is in the space. He's talking about he's talking about building the community. He's talking about he's talking about building the community. He's talking about loving our women. He's talking about finding a way to find peace. He I mean, he's given us all of the same feel, the same um, inspiration. Yeah, but but, but I think but on, I think it's it's, it's, it's no, no, but it's second, a different it's a different energy. It's a preaching energy because Common did not have a history of drug talk. He did not have a history of big boy talk. He did not have a history of of all the things that Jay has. So that's the reason why this is more impactful because we're seeing the evolution. We're seeing the therapy of the drama of the not drama of well drama and the trauma. Of of Rockefeller and what was what we felt and and heard on Reasonable Doubt, we're, we're seeing that healing process, Playboy. We're seeing where this man is sitting here, and although he may be trying to say the same things, but his impact is just so much bigger. Well, yeah, I think his impact is bigger because he's Jay and Common is Common. I mean, right? Jay is Jay is a bona fide super rock star hip hop uh, mogul. And and Common is dope. He's just not on Jay's level as far as the number of album sales or whatever the case may be. And that, and you're right. A lot of it can't comes from the fact that Jay was prepared to talk about a, a certain level of street life that sold a little bit better than what Common was talking about in the beginning. Common's always been a conscious rapper, and Jay's always been a conscious rapper as well. It just it was it was deeper and in, inside of some things. That you had to un you had to be able to uncurl them, and if you were, you weren't enlightened, you would be a you would just miss the point, even on reasonable doubt. So Lamont, you talked about the young kid that's taking out Marley in the next ten years. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. AKA Maynard's daughter, beautiful, beautiful baby, smart. Yes. The question is, is will the mumble rap generation get it? Or is it just for 
our generation. Like, I don't know if my son is going to take away financial freedom, my only hope, F living, you know, rich and dying broke. I bought artwork for one million, two years later, it's worth two million. I mean, the, Daddy, the glorification the of holding money to your ear. I mean, that to me is the best line. I mean, y'all on the gram holding money to your ear, there's a disconnect. We don't call that money over here. Will they get it? I don't know if they'll get it. I well, get here, it. Well, here's where I think we have to give credit to some of the, I, I, and I got to call them younger people. Yes, some of them will. There are some kids that I know that they do get it. You know, every kid is not realistically out here, you know, pop, popping the, the the Molly, which I just had, a, and, and I want to just sidetrack really quickly. And, and Manny, you probably already know this, but you may too. I was talking to a doctor and I didn't understand some of the key ingredients to Percocet and to, to Molly. And, and I might have this backwards, so y'all forgive me. But I think Molly or it's either a Percocet or whatever is a low grade of heroin. Percocet and um, what's the other one? Percocet, it's another one he said. Uh, Percocet, Oxy, Oxycot. and Vicodin. Oxycot, right, Vicodin, right? Yeah. So when Floyd Mayweather made a comment, and split, I'm just stick with me for a minute. When he made a comment a few weeks ago about it's cool for some of these young people to be heroin addicts, what he was really saying, like the medical doctor said, was actually true. Because a lot of these kids don't understand what is actually in a lot of these drugs. And he also said that one of these other drugs that the kids are taking is a lower grade of what the government called Agent 22. Right. And that was some sort of biochemical something, chitty chitty bang bang, where it was used to kill people. You feel me? So it's like we were just talking about how there are a certain segment of people, but he also said this isn't new. Other generations before us, they all had people who used drugs, and, and then they, you had a different segment of people that, that didn't use them, that didn't make it through. So I'm just not willing to believe that everybody is on the poly, mercus, Percocet, lean, promethazine train. I'm, I'm just not willing to believe that because I'm going to a college graduation in a couple of weeks of a young person from the inner city of Detroit that is, you know, graduating with her second master's from LSU. You feel what I'm saying? And she ain't on the Molly. And it's about 300 some odd other kids in this class that she's in. And they ain't on the Percocet. You feel me? And some of them, they might not get to Jay. Hold on. What? Hold on, though. Hold on, though. First, let me, let me, I, I don't think, I don't think Agent 22 was the right call numbers or whatever it, the case may be. It was be, something about an something agent like something. That. It was, yeah. Yes, I do. I, I am aware that, I thought it was 72, but I went, okay. I just tried to look it up just to be sure. So we don't want to give nobody no bad information. And I don't think that you were trying to. Absolutely. I recognize, I recognize that there was um, a story about something agent such and such that um, is also a drug on the street known as something different. Okay. All right. But I have to say there are lots of people out here who are graduating from college, graduating from law school, graduating from other places to do what they're supposed to do that are hooked on dope. They don't know that they're hooked on dope because there's one thing that I do know that was rampant in law school uh, when I was, you know, speaking with and talking about going to law school at a couple of different places and I, I spent time is they were like, yo, you ain't going to make it through law school or your master's program without Ritalin or Adderall or some other. And, drug. I, and I'm not saying that you're wrong, but I'm not going to let you hijack this train because the question just or or the statement that I was making was very simply that all everybody is the, like I always say, everybody ain't going to make it. Not everybody but they're. Can. They're not going to make it. But there is a large segment that we don't always highlight and we don't talk about that do make it. All right, so, but, but let, let, let's, let's stay focused on, on the, the, the question at hand. Right. The and question that's is, the, is the, are the, they going to get it? You're, you're right. Not you're all right. of there, them, there, no, but there's there, a large there's segment. There's a large that, amount of, but, but, with, but the culture, and the culture is influential, and Jay is very influential. And he told us to change clothes, we change clothes. However, now that you have a future, you have Migos, you have you know, uh, Lil Uzi Vert, you have Young Thug, you know, you have this newer generation of what is typecast as, m you know, mumble rap who don't, who is more influential than Jay on this newer generation. And will Jay's statements, who's speaking truth to power and speaking nothing but f super facts, is he going to be able to change the mindset of somebody who future has the attention of 
Lil Uzi Vert has its attention of? Or was this one of those albums where it's kind of like, okay, we listened to it all weekend long. Okay, cool. Wednesday, we back to doing our own thing. It's kind of like Jay-Z gave us church on Sunday, and now we back to Monday, and we back to Molly Perkins search. So is it going to be that impactful on the generation and the culture that the newer generation has such an influence on? Outside of those who are not in the opioid addiction. Well, again, I think what you're asking is that can this one man, no matter how... Can he shift the culture? You know, how, how enormous he is, you know, with his one release versus another 100 releases of music about putting money to your ear, drinking cough syrup and you don't have a cold or a cough or sniffle, <laughs> and, and, and popping a little pill that's a lower grade of heroin. And I think we all know the answer to that. You know, I, I mean, I, I think we got to really be honest and, and truthful with ourselves that there is a a system that is used that is told that this is what the people want to hear. There are certain radio station programmers across the country that believe that, you know, that people want to hear about, you know, throwing the money in the air and that's what they I've heard like. No Jay Z in rotation this weekend. Not at all. And but you know what? I don't want I don't want this on the radio. This shouldn't I be on the radio. Either. No, this shouldn't be. And I told a DJ, he said, well, he didn't give me no club records. I said, you dumbass, you should play Migos. This shouldn't be played in the club either. This should be taught in every elementary, middle, and high school in the country. In, to, in my opinion, every little black boy should probably be forced to listen to this, to ask questions about, to discuss. And that's just me. You know, well, heard, while we're in this space, I'm sorry, go ahead, Lamont, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 I was going to say, I heard somebody say this, and I agree with this too. This is just like when you talk about Bob Marley, and 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 please help me because somebody else said this, but I'm gonna steal it because I think it was about right. Bob Marley, you know, he was very big on revolutionary music about the revolution, and to me, this is probably the most revolutionary thing that this man has done. And I think at the end of the day, um, this is thriller to me. I, I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So when we had to have this reasonable doubt talk, I think it's foolishness. I think as being a black man in America with a family and a what? No, this is the best thing this man could have ever done, ever. I agree. I, well, know, my point was was reasonable doubt is the only other classic that Jay Z has ever made, and to me, this tops that. This to me is. I, I mean, <laughs> it's funny that I listen to it, and I listen to it like on Friday. I listened to it like four times in a row. And I was like, yo, I didn't I didn't listen to this album like four times in a row. Let me put the radio on. Let me just take a break from this. And I turned the radio on and I was I just wanna roll it, roll it, roll it with a diamond ring. I was like, nah, let me go let me go back to Jay. <laughs> Exactly. Let once me go you back have to good, Jay. once you have good food, you've been eating red lobster forever. And as y'all would say, once you go to Ocean Prime, you can't go back to um Hey man, red let's lobster? be let's be let's be clear, man. And, you know, biscuits, we're, we're, man. Yeah, we're we're we're, cor we're courting red lobster. We're trying to get these cheddar biscuits promo going, and <laughs> you trying to dog. You know what I'm saying? One of our supporters out here, man. We rolling with red lobster, man. Right. Oh, right. shout out to Darden uh, Darden uh, restaurants. Yeah, Darden Foods. We got Darden you, Playboy. Yeah, okay, but, yeah, <laughs> but you get my point. You get my point. No, you're right, baby. You're right. <laughs> Joe's Crab Shack. Are we are we courting Joe's Crab Shack right now? <laughs> no, we, 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 we we take a pass on on the Crab Shack, bro. Okay, Joe's Crab Shack. You <laughs> can't touch going to. Um, it, it's not touching going to Nick's Seafood House in Chicago. You just true, you just true. Which on to something like oh, anything else is just like what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Now, you know the trip to Japan really, really had me in a new space because, you know, we've all done things to get out of the country in, in the past. And I've went on vacation in places in the islands. And, you know, it was a whole different space to be in Tokyo. And I had I started thinking about who I am as a, as a man, as an African-American, as a black man. And I, you know, I got a healthy dose of James Baldwin's I'm Not Your Negro and Ta-Nehisi Coates Between Me and the World. And, um, and then the Birth of the Nation movie just happened to pop up. And uh, when I was on the plane, and I was like, oh, I was like, why y'all got me watching Birth of a Nation on the plane? I'm messing around. This, could, this be, could, could become a terrorist event right here. I mean, that's, you know, you don't want to get nobody that angry on a flight. Birth of a Nation will get you, get you hot. 
and with yeah. Jay, and then Jay's album comes out, and then also last night, all of a sudden, because I'm still on, I'm jet lagged. Do the right thing comes on. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to, I'm ready to, I'm ready to ride on them bammers, y'all. What's your but favorite we, record on the album? I love four four uh, four forty four. I love um, the OJ record. Um, I love. I love the one where he where he everybody's saying it's a diss on future, but it's not. I mean, he just he's he's trying to check future and let future know, yo, man, you don't want other cats playing football with your son. Oh, I didn't even um, make that connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. But think about it, Russell Russell Wilson. No, I got it now. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't even make that comparison. And so, um, oh, I love Kill Jay Z, and I love Smile. I mean, I love. I, there's not. There's Bam is dope. Yeah. The only a legacy, legacy is dope. I, I don't, I, I can't pick one. Big Willie. I mean, I got to go one to ten, bro. And just so we clear, when he does come out with the physical, it's gonna be a couple more extra cuts on there too, bro. But, and, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to minimize the project. The B, they, they sent that in the Beehive uh, press release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, in, you, I'm, I'm, I'm cross, I'm cross. Letter. Yeah, yeah, I'm cross Beehive collateralization and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like. <laughs> I, I, listen, man, I mean, everything that Maynard said, but, you know, you got to leave out what he decided to share with us about his moms, you know what I'm saying, right. who had obviously, you know, had her, you know, challenges, and maybe he even said to mama, I don't care who you love, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's like, you know, and we could talk about the whole stuff with his wife or whatever, whatever, but he talked about his kids, bro. He talked about, like, it's a whole family unit thing with two black parents and 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 little people. We don't really see a whole lot of that that are together still and it's like like yo dog like how could you not praise this whole body of work and try to minimize it to oh ain't no record for no djs or it ain't nothing for the radio or you know the beats ain't this and we need something to dance to and i say it again if we, i don't know the actual number but you know if we have 500 to a thousand releases a year and everybody's singing and dancing and popping Molly and all that other kind of stuff. Because be keep it one hundred. I am still in the fan club for Migos. Cause I, I, you might say what you want. I love them dudes, but there's a time for that, and then there's a time that we need to focus on who who are we preparing to come marry Maina's daughter. Right. No. If I, yo, man. Yo, yo man. son. What? Yo, we, man. We, she she got to have a pool out there, bro. I was talking to somebody about that, and that's important. That's important that I ain't ready you know, for that, man. I ain't ready I, for here's, that. Here's I mean, a better yeah. question. Here's a big question. I know you're not ready. I just ready took her to Disneyland. What's wrong? She what, got what, a princess out, a princess outfit. What's wrong with Al Sharpton taking selfies in the mirror? Man, let Yo, me tell Al you something. Al Sharpton needs to stop. No, watch it. Wait, wait, wait. But 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 here you but here you two you you <laughs> you two dogged me when I asked a simple question of looking and what does it what is the trauma. That happens to uh what's her name? Amber Rose's son, because she's showing her vagina on every social media platform. I told you that. I told yeah, you that. Have to do it out sharp then. Because we don't want we don't want to see our uncle that we love and respect and we listen Everybody to every day from Everybody. but hold on, hold on. We listen to him every day from one to three on every radio one station locally or going to tune in at. You know what I'm saying? We look at Al Sharpton as somebody who is supposedly one of our leaders. If him being a selfie like that, that's not cool. We don't do that. Well, I didn't. I didn't jump on you on the Amber Rose thing. I felt like I was. On, you and I were on the same side. So I'm saying, don't. I'm just saying. I still because I'm coming to New York this weekend. I, I just want to get to Bergen. I want to be. I don't want to be stopped at the gate. I mean, so I got mom, you, play. So yeah. We talk about Family Feud, which is what I think is. I, I mean, one Dope. of the best records on there. You know. Okay. Um. He said, "Uh, I'll be damned if uh, I'll drink some Belvedere when while Puff got some rock." Yeah. Now, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. You know. We, you ready? No, no, no. You know where I'm going. And I was with gonna, that. I, right? I was gonna put this on social media, but I, said, I gotta be careful. You feel what I'm saying? And if anything, I gotta say is whack about this album is that line, because if you are a real vodka drinker, you will know. That Belvedere is not hot. Ciroc definitely is not hot because I don't want to go die of diabetes because of the grape-based vodka. 
You got to rock out with Kettle One. It's a superior vodka. It's just what it is, bro. So if that's the only issue I can have with that black man in this piece of work, then I'm okay with that. But that was one line that was kind of whack. I saw where he was going. Black empowerment, revolution, chitty chitty bang bang, but Ciroc is not a good vibe. Chitty chitty bang bang, bro. But that was not that was not a good line because we don't drink we don't drink Ciroc. I mean, God bless him. We don't drink it. So let me let me back up real quick because because brother Sharpton he shot back. He already shot back on Jay. Oh, did he? But but everybody be careful, man. You know Jay got some shooters out here, bro. He said he said yo on Twitter. Tell Jay Z we still taking selfies, but I'm taking care of business down here too. Oh, okay, all right, Al Shopton. Shopton. No, no, no. He's tell Jay Z. So he basically this is what it sound like. This is on Twitter, but if I were to read this, or if I were to say this to somebody, you tell Jay Z when you see Jay Z, you tell Jay Z we still taking selfies. He ain't stopping shit. But I'm taking care of business too. Or did he just basically just say, "Yeah, tell Jay, um, that I'm still taking selfies and I'm taking." Care yeah, I was gonna say nothing because Maynard, I'm reading the tweet. I I, 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 yeah, I think he put too much sauce on it. I mean, as he should, you know. They, they call you in our in our world, uh, um, um, an agitator. You know, you're trying to agitate the situation. But this selfie that he's taking with Yaz, you know, dude got a little whack juice on his shirt from Empire. You know what I'm saying? You know, he has on all his clothes. He's he he has on a suit and tie, and he's looking like Uncle Al. He's looking like somebody who does take care of business. Now, when you're in the bathroom and you right. know you got your leg extended, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and you got this look like you might have taken a shot of Jameson or something in your eye. I don't want to see that. Like I don't want to see Amber Rose, who I think is a very beautiful person. Well, beautiful looking woman. I don't know about her as a person, but I don't. I don't want to see your vagina on on the social media. It's not. It's not cool. It's it's traumatic to your to your to to your children, and other young people out there in these streets. It's whack. Yo, can I say one last thing? I'm gonna say one last thing about the album, which I said is dope. Um, I'm so happy that there weren't five interlude skits, and you know, I, I didn't need to hear him on the phone making a phone call to, you know, Beyonce or or cracking up with somebody i, I i'm 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 t- 10 tracks dopeness i'm happy i'm happy i don't think that there's uh this is thriller man it's michael jackson's thriller i don't know if there's a better album that i've heard but you just said reasonable about reasonable about is a classic you still got the number one slot in this catalog Reasonable Doubt is a classic. No question. But about what, it. in his catalog, what album thus far has a number one slot? Oh, 444, 444, no doubt. Okay. This trumps oh. everything. Okay, Maynard? This trumps everything. Doubt. Doubt. So, I'll say again. And after this, I'm going to leave this alone. You would rather the boy that's courting your daughter to pull up to your house playing Reasonable Doubt Playing Ain't No Nigga. And I know you're not supposed to cuss, but that's the name of the song. In comparison to Smile. I, I love Smile. And I love Doubt. I would per- the dude that's gonna pull up, I want him to be playing hundred percent gospel. I want him to, I want him to, I know I would want you him got to be two playing, choices, Maynard. I want Which him to one play the pick? audio, I want him to play uh, every James Baldwin audio book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> I want him to play the, the Keys to Success by David Ramsey or something like that. <laughs> 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 okay, Kellyanne. Okay, Kellyanne. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm done. Yo, we do, can we get a break? Because Lamont is trying to yeah, think about my daughter. Yeah, and I'm about to mess around and do some Kanye thing. It's time to barbecue. It's time for the mom to head out to the, you know, to the Bergen County Country Club picnic. You celebrating Independence Day, Lamont? Well, it's funny you say that. Um, you know, and, and just to clear the record, we're going to the Montclair Country Club this time. We're going to Montclair, New Jersey. Montclair, yeah. New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? We we go we go we go we're gonna hit that we're gonna hit that one at this time. But I mean, we could talk about Fourth of July, bro, really quickly. I mean. You know what we really celebrating, and what we tossing it up to, and 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 burning them pork animals, and 
And those hot dogs are what we're doing it for. You know, we celebrating a little murder in these streets. So, you know, am I celebrating it? Not necessarily, but I'm going to definitely give me a rib. You know, because Yo, I. Can, you, can I, you talk you know, about your girl real quick? Well, you know what? You're not getting a brock. No, no, no. We ain't going to do that. No, no, no. Oh, that's why I mean, you don't have that as a Montclair. No, 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 no. It's, it's kind of like a little, you know, it's a little different. But um, I think the girl you, you referenced it to, what's her name again, Maynard? Um, Crystal Tucker. Yeah. Red Actually, Velvet. Yeah, we, yeah, Red Velvet. Actually, she's a blues singer, bro, that's in, in Mississippi. And she did a post on her Facebook page. Um, so if if you, you know, um, on Facebook, just go to, go to her page. She's, she's mad dope. We're going to figure out how we can get her on the show. Because she spits a lot of, you know, <coughs> good information. And she just gave a history of what the 4th of July is really about, you know, and how we got to remember we as people of, you know, not only African-American descent, but other nationalities of where we were as a people on July 4th, 1776. She, she mean, basically breaks down like, all right, so when they celebrated that, that first Independence Day or even that second, the next year, or say 1777, they were like, oh, we independent. We love it. We great. And we, us, them black and brown bodies, were still out there getting them sugar canes and that cotton, that tobacco, that rice. Yeah, but that's still shit. You know, I should be able to celebrate because my ancestors took one for the team, right? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do you what do you Lamont, hey, so Lamont, so Lamont what, what you, what you, what you, you so Lamont, man, are you wearing the wrong? I mean, we, we, let's just change. Let's just change. Don't whoa, even, son. Don't, don't I'm still even. supposed to barbecue, right? I mean, I my mean, ancestors died for the right for me to barbecue tomorrow. I mean, today. That's, oh, well, not really. I, I mean, mean, my ancestors took one on the chin for me to be able to have the right to fire up pork ribs and some charcoal <laughs> with some lighter fluid and a couple of brocks and some hot dogs and some baked beans and some potato salad. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think we need to know and understand the real meaning of what those fireworks was about. You know what I mean? And those fi- those, those fireworks was about... Why does it matter? Kids love no, fireworks. People I got love you. fireworks. Right. Why but, does it but matter? But you're not hearing me. You talk about seventeen seventy four six six seven right seventeen seventy six. Why does that matter? It matters because we're celebrating murder. So what? No, and we call People it independence. Murder each other. We every had every single day. We still get a barbecue. Well, that's my point exactly. Is that you know we can't be upset. You know what I mean about some of the things that happen on a daily that we read about and get all upset, and then we can talk about we go march and we shall overcome. And then on July fourth, we take off. We got we got to hit the liquor store for it close. Yeah, we got to go, go get the pork. Right yeah, you know what I'm saying. We got to go get the pork, and, and make sure we put some extra pork in our beans. Right. And 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 we go sit in the backyard and play maze before I let go and hit a line <laughs> dance or two, <laughs> right? We gotta and do then the by end, we got to do the yeah, wobble. Got, oh, got to hit the wobble. You know what I mean? And I, I think all that's cool, but you got to know what you're doing. You got to understand just the true meaning of it all. And again, so it's okay for me to know where I come from, and then I can put the pork in my body. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I know what the independence and the fireworks is all about, it's cool for me to put the pork in my body after that. I mean, if that, I don't that, know, then I need to go and study it, and then I can put the pork in my body. I mean, it just it just helps, bro. That's all I'm saying. I mean, this is this it, it took a long time to mess it up, and it's gonna take a long time for us to fix it. You feel what but I'm saying? I, I think I think um, Red Velvet's um, piece was like, look, don't lose sight, like what Lamont is saying. Don't lose sight of what that what that celebration is about. You can go out here and enjoy your family and fellowship and have a good time with your with your friends and family, and you can go out. Here, but the people that are out here, you know, ready to, you know tear up over the flag and all this and so on and so forth and the the, the lives that the, the men and women who go out and serve and that's why the 4th of July etc we have to recognize while we respect and admire the people who are the troops that are in harm's way and have paid the price um, you know in recent years in all these years we also got to recognize this country built itself on our backs and we didn't get the the fruits the way that others have. They, you know, it was this country that enslaved millions of us. And then after slavery was over, they were like, well, you know what? We're gonna let y'all live kind of here. And but we're gonna still come and lynch you. 
we're going to still come and, and terrorize you. We're going to still burn crosses. We're going to run you out of town. We, you can't do that no more. Okay, we can't do that no more. But we ain't going to let you sit next to us on the bus. Yeah, but why we ain't going to let care? you use it. To- why do we care? All right, all right yo, Lamont, enjoy your, enjoy your holiday. I'm just my asking. Dude. I'm just, why do we care no. if we're if, if we're going to sit next to them, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the bus? Like, why do we give like, I mean, didn't we just listen to 444? Like, why do we even care that those things even exist? Why are we even put, let those, let's not even focus on those things, right? Like, I heard so, this girl on Karen Hunter today. I don't even, damn, I wish I knew her name, you know, but she she was this um, CEO of this multimedia company, and she was saying, like, you know, I don't know why we are putting so much emphasis on inclusion, like, why? I mean, Jay Z. We just talked about the entire book that we should be giving our thirteen-year-olds. Lamont said that this should be requirement for kids to read, to know, and to study. Why do we care about being inclusive? Who gives a f- about seventeen seventy-six? Because if you don't know where you come from, oh, you don't man, know, you know the history. Times I know you, it's critical. Do you, it's think critical. That, <laughs> do you think that Marley cares about? Do you think when Marley turns sixteen years old that she's gonna care about where we come from? Do you think she my better, son at twenty five years old? Do you think he, he doesn't, cares? If he, does, he, if doesn't, he doesn't. He does well, not. Then you, then you he still doesn't. have work to no, do. No, I do because not listen, have listen, work to do. Listen, let me, no, let, I let do me not. And here's here's the reason why. The reason why you don't have the work to do and the reason why I don't have the work to do is because it is a mute point. If it's we start, let's just, hey, hold on, hold on. Let's just start with 444 because that's more receptive for my son to listen to than for me to have a conversation with him about 1776. He's not going to sit there and listen. He don't care. 70, he doesn't let's, care. Let's start with this. Marley's not going to care in, in, in Spud, 10 years 1776 from now. 1776 is a metaphor for this country 1776 is a metaphor for what we talked about last show the 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 policing and the execution of black and brown bodies 1776 is a metaphor for showing us as pimps and hustlers 1776 is a metaphor for saying hey this conscious music that common has we're not delivering that no more we're going to give you some gangster rap we're going to give you molly percocet 1776 is a metaphor for them cutting, for them putting, giving us the dirtiest, nastiest, filthiest water in Flint, Michigan. 1776 is a metaphor for all the black and brown 1776 bodies. 1776 is down irrelevant. In the 1776 no. is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It has no meaning. It has no meaning to anyone who is younger than you and I. The younger generation don't care about where we came from. It is well, a it's we're irrelevant. Forever lost. We're forever lost. If of we course we are. No, so, let me, so let me, what let me take that back. What you're saying is the Jay Z album is amazing, and that's great. What well, I'm saying so is, we're is that found with the Jay Z album, but the 17 said you. Have to I'm saying to you is, is that Jay Z's album is a Jay-Z's, better Jay-Z's opportunity for me to. I get into this conversation on my talk show all the time. This lady calls me and she says, "You know what happened? We can be able to talk to our in the White House and a black man can fly." Are you kidding me? Do you mean you mean to tell me that the younger generation who's somebody you mean to tell me I can't even tell you as a fact that my kids, 23 and 25, did not vote for Barack Obama because of 1776 or because of slavery or for Martin Luther King for that matter. The reason they don't why vote on Barack that situation. Obama, so the reason let me go back to my Obama point. Let me go back to my president. point. Let me go back to my the point, which is that 444 Obama could run for is an opportunity is for us to he, be. A, of course, you mind, and I know mind, that. You mind. and I know that. But 444 no, is an opportunity for us to be able to enter into the world of a younger generation. A 1776 does not keep the attention of a narrative who's somebody who don't care. They don't care, man. They you care about Molly Percocet. the concept of the word metaphor here. You doesn't. We don't have to discuss 1776. We can discuss, discuss it all. Those, things, about those things that are related. Barack Obama Crow. is a direct descendant of, of the struggle of the 
of the black and brown bodies who were Harriet Tubman, who were Sojourner Truth, who were Martin Luther King, who were Malcolm X, who were so, Jesse Jackson in the 80s. Man, so, so, so Mayna, 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 can I ask a question? Let me, let me finish this. This sentence almost I, done. I, I, you I can't know, but... disconnect. You can't disconnect the knowledge that we need to have about what we're celebrating or not celebrating, what we're doing or not doing from Jay-Z's uh, 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 landmark album. They're, they're intertwined and connected. And if you can't understand or get that, I'm sorry for you. So, so well, I don't know who you're so, talking so, to in that sense because I get it. But I'm talking to you about a 22-year-old. I asked the question. I asked the question to Lamont, which was, do you believe, which I hope, I hope that my son can look at this album and I agree with you 100%, Lamont. This album made me listen to the album. I listened to the album, the album, not a song. I listened yes. to the album four times in a row. I listened to the album twice today. Not the songs, the album. Yeah. I hope that my son can be just as receptive as I can to this album. But However, fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. I'm, I'm saying this and I'm done. I, but my I son, if I, if, 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 now, I can pick up the phone right now and say, Deshaun, let's talk about Jay-Z's new album. And we can have a dialogue. If I call my son and say, Deshaun, let me talk to you about, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the slave trade. He'll be like, Dad, I'm about to go, man. I, I'll holler at you later. It, 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 it doesn't matter. If I talk to him, if I call my son today, you know, today and say, Deshaun, or when he comes over and say, you know what? We really need to talk about the history of the 4th of July. He going to get right on Snapchat. He going to be like, my dad's trying to talk to me about the history of 4th of July. He don't care, man. Not that it's not important, because I don't want anybody to think that it's not important, because it is. But he so, don't so, care. So, ca so, ca so now can we... Care. So can we hear from the third black guy now? Oh, there's, um, a, there's a third black yeah, guy? Yeah, there's, there's three black guys, with, and we all have mics. Okay? So Yours what I was going great, by the way. Yeah, and you know, and, and I'm actually, you know, broadcasting from the bunker. I didn't want to tell you guys, but we'll deal with that later. But listen, I think what you're both saying, as most of the time, you're right. And it's no different than, and we want to talk about the Jay-Z album. I am what I would like to call a victim of the strip club culture in Detroit. Me growing up in Detroit, that's just something that we did. And if you listen to what Jay-Z said, about, you know, strip clubs and, and that whole industry. And yes, we have a lot of friends who are still in that industry. A lot of music is broken in that environment. But it, it's something that's stupid. And at the time, I didn't get it. But at 40 plus, oh, I, I'm, I get it now. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I get it. So, But I think you're right. Deshaun might not get something at the time. But there were people at the time when I was in, in not just involved, but I, when I participated in that kind of shenanigans, they would say, like, yo, Lamont, that's kind of dumb. It doesn't really make sense to go in there and do, you know, pay for overpriced drinks and, and food that actually was pretty good most of the time. It just, the whole environment just was wrong. So just because some somebody doesn't get it, it doesn't mean that you still don't try to give it to them. You know what I mean? Because everybody gets it in their own time. Like I said earlier to Maynard about, you know, we can't legislate or say what time, even though, yep, he might be childish. In Kanye's grieving process, we, we can't put a time on that because everybody gets stuff at a different time. So although Deshaun might not want to know about the slave trade or 1776, we still need to make the information available to him. And hopefully, you know, because at 22, I don't know if I really gave a shit about it either, at least to the extent that I do now at 40 plus. And me understanding that me not having an understanding of that history is the reason why, even like right now, I didn't notice until like two maybe two, three years ago, is that as we stand here today, slavery is still in existence. Slavery, I used to always hear people say it, slavery was never abolished, and it hasn't been in 2017. Because we all know, and I'm not a lawyer, but if you just read what the 13th Amendment says, it says that if you do this, you are a slave. That's 100, bro. That's in the black and white. It ain't changed. It ain't did none of that. So... I think until people get to that point where they really understand, and I've heard many people that talked about this when they go to jail, it is. It's like being a slave because that's what it's designed to do. That kind of environment in, in the, in the, in the, you know, when, when you're incarcerated, it's like being on a plantation. And in certain places across the country, what do you do, Maynard? You go outside and you work the fields. Am I right? True. True. So, yo, playboy, I, I, I just think, you know, because the 13th Amendment been around ever since I was born. But hell, it took me 30 some odd years for me to really get it. 
So I still say again, we got to give it to them. All of them ain't going to catch it. You know what, Deshaun? I got to trick you and put it on Snapchat. You're going to get it because as long as you stay black and, and you get old enough, as my granddaddy, rest his soul, used to say, just keep on living. You keep living, you're going to get it. You're going to see some more videos, some brothers getting shot. And some more other things happening just like this. Oh, you're going to get it sooner or later. The light bulb is going to come, come, you know, it's going to go off. So, again, you're both right, but we still got to keep giving it to them, bro. We, we just got to because this, what, where we at right now, I'm, I am. I'm concerned. I'm concerned about if there's a young lady or young man out here that's 18 and under, you know, what is their world going to look like in 30 or 40 years, bro? And, and if all we keep giving them is Migos, which I ain't mad at that, they are all my favorites. They get downloaded, you know, T-shirt. We had a breakdown the other day. Like, we had an argument of what a hot box was because in my you urban... Day, slippery? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to Slippery. Thing. Yeah. My man said, it's a car full of weed. I said, no, it ain't. It's a stolen car. So we going back and forth, and we two old dudes arguing what a hot box is. You know what I'm saying? So we need somebody to, you know, definitely hit us on the Facebook page and three black guys on the mic and tell us what is a hot box. You know what I'm saying? To make sure we get this in order along with the other, these other real discussions that we having, bro, which is what, you know, I think we talked about this offline, what this podcast is about, because if somebody listening, man, and we can help them and we can give them some good energy, you know, to, to, to move what it is that we're trying to move forward, which is us, you know what I mean? And I don't think we should always just segment it to like black people, because I think there's a lot of other people that need some help too, bro. But we got to talk about our experiences and, you know, what we can give to the universe, man. But I don't, you know, my kettle one is a little watered down. I got to freshen it up. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't want to get too deep. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back and look at it, though, and and to kind of explain, like, what we have to do. First of all, Lamont, you you know, hats off. That was You you get a W on that all the way around. I don't get a W? What the fuck? No, man, you don't get a W. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, uh, and and you dropped, like, four F-bombs in this. I did. I'm sorry. Boop! My bad, program director. (sighs) But, it's kind of like, you know, how you have to, you're saying that Deshaun don't want to hear it or that my daughter may not want to hear it and there's some old stuff in it. But the Jay-Z album is the, the Jay-Z album is the the pizza with medicine on it. Sometimes you got to get somebody to, to ingest something about 1776 by giving it to them on a slice of pizza and they just don't know it. And then it starts to click. So I agree with you that you can have a conversation with them about the J album and try to get into all the things that are discussed and sneak in a little bit of, you know what? The funny thing about credit and, and, and saving your money and doing this and that and not, not living reckless is such and such. The funny thing about, you know, education is so and so. The th- you know, you, you so let the J album be the, the the slice of pizza and the medicine on top of it is just like you you sneaking it in. Mm-hmm. So I got a little bit of a W. I got a little W. He got you got a baby. He's trying to give you a baby W, homie. You know what I'm That's saying? He all, really take you with baby w. Today. I had to work hard for buying, bro. You know I what I'm saying? Take a baby W. I just think you know a, a lady calls me on a talk show all the time and she says because I always say say the same thing and she says it's not a matter that you cannot. Tell them, to Maynard's point, you can't tell them in the way that we're used to getting the information because they don't listen. So, yeah, you can give them a pizza, a J album with, you know what I'm saying, the medicine on top. Right. And be able to lead into that conversation. And hopefully it will become a bigger situation. I just, when you, when you hit them with the, hey, let me tell you where Independence Day come from. I'm out of here. I don't like anything about that. Because it doesn't affect them. <laughs> it doesn't affect them. It has no significance. They, they think, to you know, them. the unfortunate thing is they state a lot of people may think these things. And uh, and we probably would, like Lamont said, we probably didn't, we weren't woke, if, as folks are saying okay. now, to a lot of things. But and, that didn't and, mean it didn't affect us. You right. know, you could be like, I, I remember making a lot of money and being, you know, like in my mind, I was thinking, oh, I'm great. I know I got another paycheck coming in two weeks. So I'm going to blow it all right now. It doesn't affect me, the future. And now I'm sitting here saying to myself, <coughs> Damn, I wish man, you know how much. Painting. Right. I wish I had bought a painting. Thank right. you, Jay. I got some pockets. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cue, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for us to go. Have a fantastic 4th of July. We'll talk to you all next Tuesday. All right. Peace and a bye-bye.